In this problem, we need to combine this into one expression. And the way to do that is to find a common denominator between each of these separate terms here. And before we start looking for a common denominator, it might be easiest if we factor this here. So doing that, this entire expression is equal to x plus 2y divided by and then y squared minus x squared. Notice that this is a difference of two squares. And we can rewrite this as y minus x multiplied by y plus x. And if you're unfamiliar with a difference of two squares, you can refoil this out to show that it does indeed equal this top expression. And then I'll quickly rewrite these next two terms since they won't change. Now we can notice that this first and second term each have this y minus x. This first and third term have this y plus x. And this middle term has this y. So if we take the product of y minus x, y plus x, and y, that would give us a common denominator for each of these terms. So we can rewrite all of these with that common denominator. And like I said, the denominator is y minus x times y plus x multiplied by y. So this first term, notice it already has y minus x and y plus x. So we just have to multiply this top by y. So we have y times x plus 2y and then minus. And for this second term, we have y and y minus x, but we don't have this y plus x. So we'll have to multiply top and bottom by y plus x. So I can rewrite y plus x here and then multiply that by 3y. And then for this last term, it has a y plus x, and we need to multiply top and bottom by y and y minus x. So this would be plus 2 times y times y minus x. And from here, we just need to simplify. So this entire expression is equal to, here we'll just distribute this y to each of these two terms. So we have y times x plus 2y squared. And then this middle set here would be a minus. And we have 3y distributed to each of these. So we have 3y squared plus 3xy. And then this last one, we'll have to distribute this 2y to the y minus x. So we have plus 2y squared minus 2x. And this is all divided by that common denominator, y times y minus x times y plus x. And in the top, we can combine like terms. So again, this expression is equal to Notice we have a 2y squared plus a 2y squared, and then we'd have minus 3y squared here once we distribute this negative to each of them. So the 2y squared and 2y squared is 4y squared minus 3y squared leaves us with just y squared. And then here we have a y times x, and then here we have 3 times y times x. But inside we're subtracting this. So yx minus 3yx is the same thing as minus 2yx. And then all we're left with is just this minus 2x, and then it's still all divided by a common denominator, y times y minus x times y plus x. And once we've reached this point, this is as simple as we can make it.